As the sun rises in the southern New Mexico desert, Boeing's QF-16 is towed out onto the runway for its latest test flight. Michael McWilliam gets the jet ready. I get the jet started and cranked. I get all the switches set. Uh, we engage with a remote control facility. We go through a lot of tests to make sure everything's, everything's working well. Uh, and then uh, once we're ready, you know, we exit the cockpit and I get out and uh, she's ready to fly by herself. The QF-16 has flown unmanned before, but this is the graduation exercise. This time, the QF-16 is being tested to do what it was designed for. Flying over White Sands Missile Range, the QF-16 target is identified. A ground-to-air missile is fired at the jet, coming within a few hundred feet of the target. The aircraft uh, tail number is QF-004. She survived, and we brought her home. The QF-16 mission is really to act as a target um, and to validate weapon systems. So part of its job is data gathering. So we do have a scoring system on the airplane, and its job is to tell us uh, basically how close the missile came and its trajectory. Um, that information is provided back to uh, whoever the shooters are. And if the data gathered from the QF-16 matches the missile's data... It would have uh, been a good hit and a good kill for the aircraft, but it allows us to use the aircraft over and over again. The QF-16 is replacing the QF-4 as an aerial target, providing training against a more modern-day threat. The F-16 is much more maneuverable. It can provide our customers uh, with, a, with a better, an aerial target that's got more capabilities, uh, and it represents a fourth generation threat. And it performs unmanned just like it does manned. And for the first time, the customer ran the entire mission. It really was not just a test of the aircraft, but to make sure all the training we've provided, all the maintenance manuals, all the test equipment, everything's working, and that the customer is able to use it uh, by themselves given what we've provided them. So this was really a test to make sure everything was in place and it's really ready to go operational. Currently, six F-16s have been modified. They will be part of the first operational squadron at Tyndall Air Force Base.